Well, there are several ways to recover our device. If it has a screen lock or a forgotten Gmail account. In this video tutorial, we will explain step by step how to recover your device. Today, we are going to use a fully updated method to recover our device. I also want to tell you that in the video description and in the first pinned comment, we are going to leave others. Everything is different, so for those people who suddenly find these methods do not work, they will be able to apply these second methods. That said, what we are going to do first of all is connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to carry out the process. We are going to click Next. We are going to connect to the network. If you want to recover your device with this screen lock, well, I recommend you watch the video tutorial step by step. EH, I also want to tell you that we are going to use what is a fully updated tool to be able to recover our device. We are going to use the tool. We are also going to explain where you will be able to download this tool and what you have to do. Well, this tool that we are going to use today in this video tutorial, what we have to do is deactivate before executing the tool. We have to deactivate what is the antivirus temporarily. You know, we deactivate the antivirus. We execute the tool so it will be able to run correctly. It will be installed. I am also going to explain to you step by step how to install what are the drivers EH. I also want to tell you that where we are going to explain to you, where you are going to be able to download this tool, you will be able to find the drivers so that you can install it correctly. That said, we download it, deactivate the antivirus. Then we execute the tool so it will open correctly. We do not have to enter any username, any password. All of this is already EHEH, -E -H, everything included here we are going to see that our device has a screen lock, it also has the Gmail account. We are going to click here where it says use a Google account. Our phone had been locked. What we did was uh format it, reset it. When the device uh was completely reset we we're left the same both the lock and uh the Google account. Well let's go to what is the APC and we're going to explain to you. What you have to do, well, what we're going to do is go to what is our antivirus. We're going to select our antivirus here we're going to go to these settings. We're going to go here where this shield appears. We're going to click on it and then we're going to go down. We click here where it says manage settings here we have to deactivate the first option that says real time protection. Because if we don't deactivate that first option our program is not going to run. Now what we're going to do is go to what is our browser here we're going to write the following. We're going to write TV cell as it appears here on the screen. They're going to write it as is it ends in DL. We write, we click here on the first page that appears called Android DTV. This would be what is our official page. Here you will also be able to find others totally different methods. You are going to select that option here we are going to go down here and as we had said here we have other methods. Those people who want to try other Totally different methods here will be able to find them. We are going to go here in the last options and we are going to select this option that says apps. Device cell or Evacel applications, we are going to select it, we select it. Then we are going to the last options. We are going to go down here you are also going to be able to find other methods. Totally additional methods. We are going to go down here we are going to be able to find the tool that we are going to use today in this video tutorial.
This would be the tool that we are going to use. What we have to do is download this tool. Here you are also going to be able to find what the drivers are. The driver is going to be there, then what? We are going to do is install the program, after we install it correctly. What we are going to do now is that the program is going to run. When it runs what we are going to do is click where it says log in and that's it. That would be all. Here we have what are EH the processors of our EH device. We have Mediate, we have Qualco, Unisoft, we also have the reference. Of our device, this, this program is fully updated. But in this video tutorial this model is. MediaTek processor, that would be the processor. Here we have for Meta software, here we have services. We select the service option here, what we are going to do is click here. Well here I am going to show you the drivers, here will be all the drivers. You are going to install this driver that says MediaTek already here is SPD there is also. Qualcomm there is also Samsung driver I also recommend that when you install your driver. Like this mediated I recommend you install this driver that says LIP USB. This drive is very good what we are going to do is install it we click next next. Install as I already have it installed I am going to tell you that I do not say that it is not installed. We click finish here it will open. Well what we are going to do here is click where it says EHREM this install, there where it is. So we leave it, we click here on next here we are going to connect our phone. When the MediaTek driver comes out here you are going to click on it and you are going to click. Install if they do not recognize it well we go back to the. Reset FRP section I am going to put here. Now they tell us that our phone has to be completely turned off. What we are going to do is turn off our phone. We turn it off, after our phone turns off completely. What we are going to do is wait a 10 seconds, we wait 10 seconds, we are not going to touch anything. We are not going to press the power button or anything like that. When you connect it and the driver appears here, you are going to select it quickly and click install yes. You have it installed, the program will recognize it here, it is already installing as you can. See it is doing the process, the program as I already have it installed has not. Come out here that would be all, as you can see here it says CRP reset. S successful ready now, what are we going to do? We are going to wait for our device. To automatically turn on, we are not going to do anything. We are going to leave it like that, here we can see that it already shows us the loading logo. When it shows you that loading logo, what you are going to do now is disconnect the phone, disconnect it. We are going to turn on our phone. We turn it on here we are going to wait for our device to restart. As we had said, if it comes out, if here you see the drivers that were not installed correctly. I recommend that you use here, here you will see the MediaTek driver, you click on install. You run the PRP process. Again there it will give you what is the access now. That is why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step so that you cannot miss any of these details. So you can solve what is the deletion of the account on our device. That said we also have for this this same model we have other methods. Additional for those people who suddenly did not run. The program will be able to do this process and as we can see here. It launches the accessibility option that means that the video has been. Successful let's go no eh let's. Click trail let's click ok let's go to configure it. To make the configuration faster, I always recommend deactivating the sync air. Remove the sync air from our phone. We remove that sync air.
We will deactivate what is the Wi-Fi network. We will deactivate it. Now we click here on skip or skip. We will click on it. As you can see we click here where it says do not copy. We click where it says do not copy. Now it would take us to the next section. We click here on more more. Except, we click on skip again. We click on next here we will click on finish and so. We would have our phone fully recovered without needing so much. We have just recovered it in less in a short time. When we do this process we always recommend. EH eliminating the errors that remain on our phone. So how are we going to eliminate these errors? Let's go to settings. Here in settings, we'll find the last option that says system or about the phone. We'll select it. We'll cover it here so we don't see the emails on our phone. We cover it here and select reset. Now, here we're going to reset our entire device. When our phone is completely reset, all we have to do is configure it. That's all. Share, subscribe, activate the bell, like, and leave a nice comment.